Welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day and this one's all about Dev's bag of flour and in particular he's got a three kilogram bag of flour. He's going to use seven tenths of a kilogram of the flour to make cake mm, yummy and uses 0.65 kilograms to make some bread. How much flour has he got left? Well the easiest thing to do here is actually change everything into grams to make the numbers slightly easier. So three kilograms is actually 3,000 grams because remember one kilogram is 1,000 grams. So two kilograms is 2,000 grams. So three kilograms, which is what we've got here, is 3,000 grams. And seven tenths of a kilogram, well, one tenth of a kilogram is basically a is a thousand divided by ten, and a thousand divided by ten is one hundred grams. So one tenth of a kilogram is one hundred. So two tenths would be two hundred. Three tenths three hundred grams. Four tenths four hundred. Five tenths five hundred. Six tenths six hundred. Seven tenths would be seven hundred grams. So he's using seven hundred grams of the flour to make a cake, and he uses zero point six five kilogram to make some bread. Well. 0.5 kilograms would be 500 grams. 0.6 kilograms would be 600 grams. And 0.7 kilograms would be 700 grams. So 0.65 is between 0.6 and 0.7. So it's going to be between 600 and 700. So 0.65 between 600 and 700 is 650 grams. So he's basically using 700 grams to make the cake and he's using 650 grams to make some bread. So how much does he have left? Well, if we figure out what he's used so far, that would be 700 grams for the cake plus 650 grams for the bread. So let's add that together. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 5 is 5. And 7 plus 6 is 13. So he's used 1,350 grams. So what we need to do now to figure out what he's got left is subtract that 1,350 from the 3,000 that he started with. So if we start with 3,000 and then we use or subtract the 1,350, whatever is left will be our final answer. So 0 take away 0 is 0. 0 take away 5 we can't do, so we borrow from the next column, but the next column is also a 0, so we can't borrow from there, so we borrow from the 3. Cross out the 3 and that becomes a 2, and the one we borrowed makes the first 0 into 10. But that's still no use because we still can't do 0 take away 5, so that 10 needs to be borrowed from, which then becomes 9, and the one we've just borrowed from there makes this 0 into 10. And now we can continue. 10 take away 5 is 5, 9 take away 3 is 6, and 2 take away 1 is 1. So it's 1,650 grams left. That is the final answer to our question. 1,650 grams. If you wanted to do that as an answer just in kilograms, well, the 1,000 would be one whole kilogram, and the 650 grams would be 0.65 of a kilogram. And we know that because we've already said that here, that 650 grams is 0.65 of a kilogram.